Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. Standing on the tee box, looking down the fairway, visualizing a monster drive, only to slice, hook, or push one out of sight. USGA Rule 18.2 states if a ball is lost or out of bounds, there is a stroke and distance penalty assessed, which means we have to re-tee and we're hitting number three, still 400-some yards from the hole. In this week's Tips and Chips with Chad, we work on controlling the driver. So as you can see, I got the big dog here. Um, I see this a lot with, with people that are playing, that when they hit the driver, they're very inconsistent in, in, in their shots. And a lot of it is they're very inconsistent in the way they swing the club. So if I had one tip that I could give everybody, is it is when you're swinging the driver, if you can do one thing, just try to hold your finish. And if you can hold your finish, the chances of you being in balance are way greater. Therefore, the swings become more repeatable, which in turn, the ball flight will become repeatable. And then if there is a flaw, myself or anybody can help you because your swing is becoming more consistent. And that's a huge key to developing shots that are more consistent. So you hear a lot of different tips. Jack Nicklaus famously said when he wanted to hit a driver farther, he would actually swing slower. But really what he meant was he would swing more in balance, therefore he would hit it more solidly, and then he'd get the maximum carry out of it. And I see that with people that are trying to hit it too hard. I know for myself, when I'm tempted to hit it far, maybe a short par four or a par five that I want to reach in two, the only thing I'm really telling myself is make sure I stick my finish. Because if I stick my finish, I'm gonna be in better balance, I'm gonna make better contact with the ball, and hopefully hit a more repeatable golf shot. So I'm going to make a swing here, and I'm going to try to hit it hard, but I'm going to do my best to stick my finish so that I'm in balance. One practice swing at pretty full speed, and then I'm just going to swing hard and try to stick my finish. So I was able to stick my finish there in balance, therefore I hit it really solid and got a pretty good drive out of it. 